start again. All right, that is recording. Yes, it is. Huh? Do you hear that? Ah, oh, do we got a boss? Huh? These birds? Just the Hemlock King? What? Wait! Oh no! Ah, oh. oh, look, this looks like the pirate from the first game. You're brave indeed to come a wandering into these parts uninvited. That you'd never hear of Cloud Snake. Heard o, heard o the Cloud Snake. Sorry, oh my god! <laughs> look at those boards! Sorry, we're not far around here. We have important business beyond the valley. You simply must let us pass. <laughs> must we indeed? I'll tell you what we simply must do, boy. Setting up all, all, yeah, setting up all them are, are, as comes a spyin on our secret base. A, me honored colleagues has the right to, uh, has the right of it. You, ye've, can, oh goodness. Rule D, section D, uh, uh, rule seven, section D of the Pirate Aviators Code. Punishment for such heinous crime is death. But we're not aviators. We're walking here. We're walking here. <laughs> Spare your clever words, Mister. We're not stand. Uh, we're not stand here and listening to your wheedle your way out of this. A pirate in business works. Less talk, more dying. It was nice to make your acquaintance. Well, that was a short game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and now you guys are gonna die for trespassing. <laughs> oh, who is this? Tani? That is a very Ghibli character. <laughs> Taking the law into your own hands, eh? The boss will love that. Uh, we, we... Oh, that's not the boss? <laughs> that guy on the left looks like a boss to me. Judge, jury, and executioner. Then drag their bodies back to claim the reward, weren't you? Go on. I dare you to deny it. Well, now. I never... That is... We... I thought as much, but what happens to them isn't your decision. It's Batu's. Now take them back to base before I tell him you've forgotten who's in charge. Yes, miss. What should we do? We'll wait for an opening and run. <laughs> run with those things on. You two, take this lot back to base. I'm going to scout around a bit more. The Wyverns are on the prowl again. Don't worry. The boss is a reasonable man. Most of the time. What does that mean? <laughs> He's my dad. What? Hmm. Sky Pirates Base. Oh, is this the first town? I love the towns from the first game, and I kind of wish there were more of them. There's always stuff to do in them. This way, your dogs, ye. Ye! <laughs> Wait. Oh my goodness, we walk around with the cuffs on! So we... Wait. Oh, we, we just follow you, I guess. Oh, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. So this is their base. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Make one false move in here, my hearties, and you'll 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 be running through you'll be run through quicker than you can split. Okay. Can I just go the other way? <laughs> What's down here? The the hmm. The path branch is off there. I feel like I should just follow you for now, though. I doubt this game would kill me, though. <laughs> so. Come to report in. What's the boss? Um, where's the boss when you need him? I like this guy. 
He looks a bit like the pirate from the first game. What was that guy's name again? Kubla, I think? You must be trespassers, loitering suspiciously in the, can in the canyon there, so I hear it. With good reason. Please hear us out. We only uh, want to visit the king's cradle. We won't cause any trouble, I promise. It caused trouble the second you set foot in the sky pirate turf, lad. This is a violation of the code, one that carries a penalty of death. No exceptions. You'll be dashed out on the ro uh, rocks at the bottom of the canyon, just like all the rest. The code must be obeyed, and the can and the carrion crows must be fed. Can't you... You might want to reconsider this, uh, this... This is King Evan of Ding Dong. Don't tell him that! What do you suppose will happen if you execute a royal? You're a, you're a, what re one to just so in the face of death, matey. We're not so backwards that we ain't heard of the young prince taking the throne. But we're not so soft in the head as to believe he'd come trespassing all the way up here neither. There was a coup. We fled uh, we fled here in fear of, her, of our lives. Begging your pardon, boss. The news of the wind, uh, of the wind, s some, s I hate pirate speak. <laughs> some such de devilry might just be scrap o' truth in the here tall sound and tale. That's so. All the more reason to sling him off a cliff and be done with it. Who's ever in charge down Ding Don Dell? Sure, uh, Dell should be pleased as punch as some tiding, um, at, at some tidings, and it be do no harm to stand the good side now, can it? Gah. Oi. Boss, it's Tani. The wyvern's taken her hostage. Of course they did. <laughs> they, they said they'll let her live, but only if we promise to, to up sticks right away and never come back. The devils! Pick on a mere slip of a girl, would they? Gah. If we desert, uh, if, uh... But if we desert this uh, here base, we're sitting ducks for any all all the chosen to come after us. The lousy lizards slaughter every last man, woman, and child. It won't do. She may be the only daughter, but uh, but the needs of one can outweigh the many. But she, she's the blood of my blood. What um what she is? If the boot were on the other foot, I know I she'd do the same for me. The boss, no, hold your tongue. I've made my decision. <laughs> Did you see that guy's face? You can't just leave her to die. What's that now? If none of you are willing to go, I will. I'll rescue her. Grr. Please, Chief Bantu, uh, Badu. I've been calling him Bantu this whole time. You have to let us try. Tani saved our lives. We are honor bound to repay the debt. Something tells me she, um, that ain't all, all you're after, laddie. They're after a way out, boss. You take it from me. We won't run away, you have my word. As you have my word. Just what you're plotting, lad. Just what are, what are you plotting, laddie? I don't have to have time for none of your trickery. It's not trickery, I swear, but I have to live. I have to become a king, and I have to build a country where everyone can be happy. You have your chance at being king, lad, and you made the right pig's ears of it. Pig's ears? <laughs> Ran away up here with your tail between your legs, did you not? These blightings, uh, blighted lads are rifle, rife with misery and war. No one's building a happy realm round here anytime soon, especially not some lily livery little pr princeling who mislaid his crown. Then I'll, then I'll put an end to the war and misery. I'll unite all kingdoms in peace. What's that, What's that now? No Why is it voice acted all of a sudden? Takes. Okay, fine. I was getting kind of tired of reading, actually. Let me take a drink of water. Um, kid, that's impossible. So I, <laughs> Not I everyone can be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I want the pirates here. Silence, ye mangy curs. You were saying, lad. If I can't repay my debt to Tani, I don't Oh, it's Tani? I was saying a Tani. Yeah, whatever. So kill us if you must. But at least give us a chance to save her first. And if we do, grant us safe passage to the king's cradle. Mm. So that's your game, eh? 
Yes. All right, sunshine. You got yourself a deal. Hey, we did it, Reddit. All right. Um. Oh. The Wyvern's Den. It's a great cave west of here, a ve veritable nest of uh, vicious vipers. Before you take off, we have a little shop here at a, at a base where you can stock up on supplies if you need. All right, we have hurry, Roland. She may uh, she may not have much time. Agreed. Ah, solid. Okay. Exploring a new town is one of the funnest things in this series to me. How you doing? I'm not gonna read all of these, by the way. What? Oh, it's an inn. A hammock-loving pirate. <laughs> Take that. Get a good egg. I'm kind of surprised I can't jump over those kids. Can I jump over people? No, doesn't look like it. All right, let's grab this while we're here. Ooh. Oh, ball of wool. Okay, Jeep. I'm a very fast reader, by the way. Okay, fine. Uh, what? Did you see that? I got stuck on the on that little pole there. <laughs> You said there was like an item shop here, and I want to check that out real quick. Maybe it's down this way? Dang, it's really frustrating to me that you can't just jump down. I kind of wonder what the point of adding more um, platform elements is if you can't like jump down and make like a potential shortcut. These, like, these little tiny ships look cool. <laughs> Top of the base. Oh, G and F? Oh, down there, in the airfield. Okay, so it is below. I'm gonna have a field day when I unlock crafting, I swear. Ah oh, man, moments like that are why I love this game <laughs> or this series. It's it's a, technically a series now, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Where exactly? Oh, down. Okay, it's closer than I thought. You okay? Come to do some shopping, eh? All right. I feel like I should sell some stuff too. Whoa! Oh, you have a lot. Oh, whoa! Oh, there are more weapon types, but I can't equip them. Huh? Interesting. Oh, oh, that's worse than what I have. That's worse than what I have. Uh, that's worse. You don't have boots yet. 
Oh, no, you do, but they're not that great. I'll buy that. Equip that. Cool. Can I sell some stuff, too? Okay. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Was it only 10 gold? Yeah, I'm gonna hold on for a second. I feel like we're gonna be getting a third party member pretty soon, and I think it's going to be that girl. It just feels possible to me. It feels very likely. So I'm gonna hold on to my equipment until I get her in my party. And then I'll use, like, those, uh, those, like, stat-ups too, because in the last game, um... One, two... Yeah, it looks like there's room for a third person. In the last game, um... You had, like, three party members for, like, 90% of the game, and then a fourth one for, like, the last 10%. I'm not even joking. Like, <laughs> it was kind of goofy, actually, and I don't know why they bothered doing it. Marcus Sam was pretty badass, though. Oops, spoilers! Uh, what the? Oh, okay, we're just out here. <laughs> I didn't expect to be Shibi again. Chibis or Chibis, depending on what part of the country you come from. Wait, what? I'm guessing the Wyvern's Den must be over that way. Come on. Oh, I'm super disappointed you can't cast that in midair. <laughs> oh. Get over here. I kind of like how you sort of auto-lock onto monsters. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a wizard's wand! There we go. We got everything. Okay, uh, let's look at what we got real quick. Hold on. Oh, is that for everything or just um my wand damage? I kind of wonder that. Oh, there's a chest down here. We get a game. What's that? Angel to- Oh, that's the revive. Okay, good. I want at least one of those. Because knowing how reckless I am in these sorts of games, I feel- Oh, that is a lot of monsters. I feel like I should probably invest in one at some point, but I didn't want to buy it because they were so expensive. Oh, dang. Okay, speaking of- <laughs> Speaking of reckless- Oh, you can only use five of those per battle! I just noticed that. You know what? I'm all for that. I think that's a good balancing strategy. Um, because in the first game, you could just use items anytime you wanted. There are some super bosses that you could just, like, spam iced coffees through. I kind of miss when the MP items are called iced coffees. Like, that was such a good name for them. I'm surprised it didn't hit me. Oh, you died. Okay. I don't think we can open purple chests. Yeah, okay. It's locked. Can I just jump down here? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Come on. Nah, this melee attacks are just better. I'll use the, the ranged weapon for when I, uh... Dang it. I'll use the ranged weapon when, uh... I don't know when I'll use it, but... <laughs> Wait! Oh, you can charge it? Oops, uh-oh. Hold on, is that what that thing he's doing is? I gotta test this. I, I guess so? I gotta check that out. That's kinda cool. Oh, wow, you can also... 
kind of strafe. <laughs> oh, that that feels like you can. I feel like you can break that if you. <laughs> Bony bits. <laughs> Already pendant. Hold on, new new equipment. Oh, is that finally something to put around my neck? Baby buckler. Hmm. Who has less health overall? I had a feeling it'd be you. Okay. Give you that, and then you can equip that. Okay, good. Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh, dang, I'm out of mana. Okay. Is it weird that I kind of don't like being locked onto stuff? Like, it just doesn't feel as fun to me, although I know it's probably a better strategy overall. Oh, cool. Oh, what's that? A dollop of single cream? Okay. Have I gone down this way yet? There's like a cave down here. Hold on, what's this? Is this just a way back into that canyon area? I feel like it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. We've gone there before. I could get like maybe one or two more things, but I kind of want to move on for now. We can come back later. There's a chest up there. Kind of want to get that. Put you first. For this. <sighs> Keep using the wrong button there. That's what I want to do. I gotta get better at um, actually aiming that. Hmm. Wait, what? Who are these three? Hey. Oh, okay. So I can't go that way until I, uh, until I, <laughs> I can't go that way until I, I save uh, that girl. Okay, fair enough. Ah, that looks like a way up there. Hold up. Oh, I have a battle. Okay. Oh, no! Ah, oh, dang it. What? What are those two doing? But <laughs> What's this over here? Is that just a flower? I guess so. No, I've gone that way. Oh, there's a cave over there! I probably have to find a, find a secret way to get over there. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you. Careful, everyone. Oh. 
Oh, that's a new monster. Wyverns. Oh, this thing! This is that mini-boss, um... The, oh, there are four of them now, okay. Uh, they're only level 8, though. Hold on. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Level 14. The number is red, which makes me think which makes me makes me think I'm under leveled for this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh dang. Good, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, what do you need? Thank you. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I can just do this for under when I'm under-leveled, but... Why are you shining? What does that do? Oh. Dang it. Oh, you don't have to charge that up for that long. Oh, okay, we did it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. How much damage did I take from that? Uh, not that much. That's fine. Can't jump up there. I'm gonna have to fall down to get those. Oh, Sora way. Solid. You ready for this? Oh, wait. Oh, I need mana. Wait, what? Oh, what are you... Oh, you're like metal. That's interesting. Uh oh. Uh, that's different. So you become invincible to physical attacks, but not spe not magical ones. Huh. That's a cool effect. Yeah, get get you used to to combining the two uh, the two elements. Okay. I can avoid you. I'm gonna fight you later anyway. I don't think I have a choice here. No. Okay, I'm starting to like this wand more. <laughs> Did you see that trick? Uh, that's funny. Uh, this is where I was going. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, hold on. Am I supposed to go this way? Let me see the... Uh, never mind, we'll fight you instead. You ready for this? I kind of like how you regenerate magic. That didn't happen in the first game. Like, magic was certainly more finite. Oh, dang. Yeah, you can only use magic when uh, when they're metal. That's kind of cool. The Final Fantasy X approach to tutorialization. Just make it immune to everything that isn't what you're supposed to use on it. Okay, which way am I supposed to go? Let's go that way. I want that chest, what's ever in there. Gustproof basic wizard wear. Okay.
Well, it's the same thing with wind resistance, so I guess I'll go with it. Oh, there's that. I'll do it on the way down. Crookneck Cavern. This is new. Hmm. Whoa, what's that? Oh, those are cool looking. Look. They have like weird artifacting in them though. Six hundred gold. Is that it? Is that really all it's in here? Hmm. You know, hold on a moment. I'm gonna stop the recording here and start again real quick.